Hi guys, a uh, quick review on a product that I used about a month and a half ago, maybe a bit less. Um, I can't really say the word, I don't really know how to say it, because of it's spelled O-L-I-A, and I would have said oilier, or it'd be oilier, or something like that. I hope you guys know what I'm going to mean when I say it, because I haven't got the box to show you, I'm really sorry. Um, but it's the new um, oil-based hair dye by Garnier. And they're like, oh my god, you've got to try it, it's so amazing, they've got all these different colours, and they do really have awesome colours. Um, especially if you want to go red or purple, it really sort of goes, bing, in your hair. But, um, yeah, I hope you know what I mean. I'm going to say oilier, hair, hair extensions, uh, I just did a video on hair extensions, that's probably why. Um, oilier hair dye by Garnier. And, um, this review is going to be about, I think it's called, um vibrant purple or something like that I used and basically it was the purple one and the whole sort of setting up you know like when you have a hair dye you sort of get the bottle and then you get the other bit and you put that in there and you shake it up and you just sort of get on with it you know you put the gloves on and you're just like all over your hair well when I did it the whole sort of process of doing that usually it's quite quick especially if you've done it before you just sort of shake it up and you know what you're doing you check it on your head if you haven't already done a skin test <laughs> but um, I really found it not so pleasant and um, the smell, it didn't really smell of anything but because of the way that the bottle shaped it's kind of like it's supposed to look like an oil drop so the top bit's like really pointing and it sort of goes Ooh. so when you unscrew the lid the lid went flying the minute I undid it because there was like no grips around the sides or anything it looked quite cheap packaging and like really flimsy um, the outside box looked like really like professional and classy but the inside stuff was like what and it was like really fit thin plastic and that so I just sort of thought oh maybe it's just me maybe on one of those days I felt like I had to sit on the floor I was on my bathroom floor mixing up my stuff because I felt it was just going to tip over and like go everywhere so I was sitting on my bathroom floor and I was like trying to like, squeeze the colour bit in and because of the oil drop it's like this and it goes like that when you unscrew it the hole is like this this big it's like a really big sort of hole that was a really bad example but it was like a really big hole and then the colour bit had to sort of go in and then I thought oh god and it all went down the side and it was, it's like I missed but I don't know just because of the liquidy stuff was so sort of it just sort of went everywhere and I got it all over me it went through the gloves I mean I had the gloves on and they're just like a plasticky bin bag sort of look and I had them on and it the dye went through onto my hands I was like well that's not very good already because it was sort of stung a ring that I absolutely always wear I don't know if you've ever seen me wearing it in my videos but I absolutely always 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 wear it it was a silver one and I'm like completely lost about it because it's ruined I always wear it and I've always dyed my hair and I've just naturally forgot to take it off but I put gloves on and stuff and it has never ever 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 affected it even if like I know the XXL purple sometimes goes through the gloves but this has gone through the gloves and turned my silver rings pure silver I think it's got a bit of platinum in it as well it turned it blue it turned my ring blue so obviously they should have said people should would have said like oh well you should have taken your jewelry off and blah 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 but just because of I've never had that problem before and it was like the first time in like ages that I left it on like with dye in it I was just like oh my god so my ring got absolutely trashed and my hands were covered in bright purple and I just thought can this get any worse and it did so I was like applying my hair dye as I would normally you know I'd sectioned all my hair up and I put it on and it, it felt quite nice through the gloves before it was touching my hand and like dyeing my hand purple and I thought oh yeah maybe it won't be too bad when I like apply it on because the gloves were like bin bags and then you like squeeze like the liquidy dye onto your hands the gloves just kept like sticking to it and they all crinkled up and I was just like oh my god could it get any worse and it did so I carried on putting this dye on my hair and they were like it's got no ammonia it's so good and this and that and the other and my head was stinging I don't know if anybody else has had this experience but my head was literally stinging 
and I've dyed my hair so many times I have bleached it I have turned it ginger purple blue pink everything I've done with my hair absolutely everything. all different hair dyes cheap hair dyes expensive hair dyes hairdressers and this one that they've been going on about for ages I had given me like this problem and my head was stinging for like half an hour and I thought oh well sometimes my head's a little bit stingy but not this stingy and I was thinking it's got oil in it as well so it's like natural and I put like cooking like olive oil stuff on my head anyway so I was thinking I can't have a reaction to the oil or any other oil because I don't, I'm not allowed to do anything and I was just so surprised so I left it on my head to, like as they say to however long to leave it on for I think it was like half an hour or to get brightest results leave on for half an hour so I did and I washed, like, I was like, okay, I'm going to go wash it out now. So I stuck my head over the bath and I turned, like, my shower head thing on. And my head felt so dry. Um, you know when you, like, put dye on your hair, you know, it always feels a bit, like, ugh, and a bit horrible. I was like, no, oh, no, 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 it'll be fine. I'll wash it off and it'll, nah. It felt so bad. And... I was so surprised. I thought maybe it would feel quite like oily once I like, washed it out, quite thick and all that, and my hair would feel really nice and like hydrated. I, it was so bad. You know, my hair felt dry. I mean, I've I use so much different like hair products, like softeners and absolutely everything. Uh, Lee Stafford stuff, everything, hair softener treatments, everything protein, egg, mayonnaise, you name it, I would use it, and my hair felt so bad, and I was so, 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 so surprised, you know, the conditioner that it came with, obviously, it's going to make it feel softer, and it did, thank God, but then I was drying it, and then I started straightening it, um, and then it came to me, what I'd always thought for ages, and I hadn't ever thought about it before, oil, then drying your hair, and then possibly styling it, like straightening it, you're frying your hair. You're frying it like chips or a bad sausage or something. You're frying it. And I was like, maybe that's why it's got no ammonia in it. All makes sense now. And the colour was wicked. I'll give you that. The colour was awesome. It did go purple. But I will never use it again. My hair was awful. It felt so damaged and split and ruined. And it didn't really last that long on my hair either. It was really disappointing. And for like £7, I was just like, no. So if you guys have got any reviews, let me know how it went. Thanks.